Well, after having a look at just the way that they come out of the box, um, we're gonna make something with mm. it. Rory and I have just invented a new pumpkin soup recipe. We've yeah. got exactly the same ingredients on the plates there. So we're gonna pop all of those things nice. in the blender, as with Rory, and we just, we're not gonna pop the whole lime, and we're just gonna squeeze a little bit of the lime juice straight in there, so just a little bit of flavor on the top. One that you can make easily at home. The last ingredient that we have here is coconut milk. So we'll pour the coconut milk in over the ingredients. And what we want to see is we're going to blend for exactly the same period of time, about five minutes. Rory and I are going to press go at exactly the same beginning time and then we'll stop them at exactly the same end time. So we can make a comparison, not only between this, how smooth the liquid is, but actually between how warm the liquid is. Because as we know in the Optimum 9400, we can really heat a soup by the friction of those fast blades going at 44,000 RPM. So. I'm going to pop this together. Let's lock it into place like that, and then we'll get them going at exactly the same time. Are you ready, Rory? Right, I only I'm use ready. the uh, crush, which is the highest speed. Um, Rory, what are you going to do? I'm going to start it on low and then turn it all the way up to high. And we'll step away. And step away, leave it for five minutes. <laughs> We pushed them together so we could actually compare the colour while they were blending and we've let them go for just over four minutes, not quite five minutes. And this is really, really interesting. Straight away when I walk up to the Ninja jug, I, there's, look, feel this Rory, there's no temperature in there at all. Oh, wow. It actually just still feels yeah, right. cold. But when I touch and I can see mm. already the condensation from the steam inside the Optimum 9400 one and I can feel with my hands how warm mm. that that actually is, that's beautiful. So um, the next thing we really need to do is see how smoothly they pour out. I'll start with this one, we'll unlock it and take it off. It does have a little lip here on the corner which means that I can open it and pour. I'm going to pop my finger in it uh, just because I want to taste it. No, because it's you really want to test the temperature. And look, it's still cold. Mm. It's um, it's not hot at all. The, the, mm. the fruits, the vegetables that we use were room temperature and it's pretty much exactly the same as where it was at before. I can even feel with my finger as well that it's a bit gritty mm. when it's in there. And I don't know if the camera could see that when I poured it out. Well, I can see the little red bits um, of things that aren't 100% smooth in there. Rory, right. I'm going to take the lid off that and we'll see if the camera can catch, if, if we can, um, the steam coming right. out. Look there, it does come up. You know, I don't know if you can see it, but we saw the steam come off. Mm. And you can definitely see the condensation Absolutely. on the sides. Absolutely, it's warm as too. That's perfect. Absolutely warm. So let's pour it in and see how smooth it is. Well, again, it's coming out much creamier mm. and, and I think even the colour's slightly different. It's got, I don't, again, don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's definite creaminess and lightness um, in the look of the one that's come out of the 9400. Can I pop my finger in this one Absolutely. too? Yeah, look, straight away. And that's actually quite warm oh, wow. to touch. Like, that's beautiful and, yeah. and, and warm and it tastes amazing. So I guess what we need to mm. do now is have a little taste of both and just feel the texture. I'm going to start with this one. First of all, our recipe creation went very well. I think so. Good job. Mm. When I put that in my mouth, I can feel the grittiness and the graininess of it. It's almost like little bits of grain running over my tongue. It's cold. Mm. It just doesn't feel like it's been blended properly mm. straight away. And I think we'll definitely see that when we spread it out. Although the flavour is okay, the texture is not a smooth, beautiful soup like I would expect from a pumpkin soup. Mm. Can I pop in here, Rory? Mm. This one, it tastes like a soup. Mm. It tastes like it's a cooked soup. That's really good, actually. Mm. It's smooth, it's mm. warm, it's got that creamy texture. Do I have a taste of the other one and, and mm. tell me what you think, Rory? And I'll, I'll just keep eating this one <laughs> over here. Mm. Yeah, it really is like a hot soup. That's exactly the way that a hot soup soup should mm. be. And this just tastes, it, the, the texture, it's quite gritty. It tastes like vegetables have been blended together. Yeah, and there is a difference, mm. you know, one tastes like a, a meal and the other one tastes like something that's been just mixed in. So, look, that's what's come out of the 9400, that's what's come out of the Ninja. We'll do a little close-up for you right now and you can actually see the texture of both. <laughs> Seen the 
test, what we did was spread some of the Optum 9400 soup straight out on the paper and some of the Ninja soup straight out on the paper. Now Rory and I could both tell it was definitely gritty. Absolutely. But look at the jugs. Mm. Look at the way that the soup is settled in here. In this one, you can see the little chunks across the front, and yet the uh, Optimum 9400 is still smooth mm. and, and beautiful. The flavor, the heat, the jug is still warm. Roy mm. was just saying to me, even after a couple of minutes of us mm. taking that shot, we can actually see that the jugs are warm, and this one is still as ice cold as it was before. So definitely not what we want. Let's sum it all up, shall we? Mm. Um, Optimum 9400, amazing, durable plastic, steel bearings, steel drive socket. Um, we've got the beautiful blades, the long six blades inside creating that fi friction heat. We've got a long range from very low speed to very mm. high speed and that manual control that allows us to utilize that whole range of speed. It's easy to pop on the top and none of the space inside of the blender is wasted with blades mm. and we get a great result and the automatic torque control as well. Absolutely, and we haven't mentioned that already, but there is automatic torque control, kind of like automatic speed control inside of the Optimum 9400, which means that if we do put a thicker or harder substance in there, more power will be sent to the blender to make sure the blades keep moving at the same speed, but no, no wearing on the actual motor of the mm. 9400. And another great thing um, about the 9400 is that it doesn't leak over a short period of mm. time. You know, these are designed to last a good 10 years. And we did want to give really, you know, a objective view. I thought there were some cool little things, you know, like the lock mechanism on the Ninja down the bottom here, but the lock mechanism didn't end up working on my bench. I find that the locking mechanism on the base and the lid are difficult. So many times I've tried to sort of put it on or pull it off and not been able to, you know, if I popped it down on the bench and then popped it back up again to try and get it to lock into place, it's a fiddle and the same with the lid. Um, the most disappointing thing out of this particular test was that it didn't heat up at all, so you can't have a warm soup. And of course, I don't have much control mm. when I use those speeds along the front. We are going to do another quick test. We'll make a smoothie for you and just see what happens. We'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh.